first sound you hear is your own excited heartbeat. When you arrive to find the sky is bluer and the sea even more incredible than the picture postcards show it. And the palm trees as genuine as the smiles of welcome. Aloha! Aloha! Good to see you. Good to see you. I got my bag here. Aloha! Welcome to Hawaii. Your first taste of Hawaiian hospitality and sweet-smelling lays of flowers and friendly faces everywhere. Let's begin our Hawaiian holiday by changing into something Hawaiian. An aloha shirt, or for the girls, maybe a moo moo. <laughs> That's moo moo to the visitor. And now we're off. The beach first. Diamond head as a backdrop. Tiny figures poised on great breakers. And always, always the sound of music. Do you know even the birds talk here? Well, some of them do. And here at the fabulous International Marketplace, I'm going to try and get one of the minor birds to talk for you. Hey, say something. Come on, say something. Say aloha. Hello. Hi, how are you? Can you oh. talk? What's the kitty cat say? Meow. It took the lives and loves of many people to make this paradise. And you'll hear their voices and their music throughout Hawaii the drums and chants of all the fabled islands of the Pacific. And from the far off islands of Japan they came with their age old and haunting melodies. And from other distant lands, Portugal, Korea, and the sunny Philippines. This next particular dance takes its name from a town in Spain, Catalonia. And in the Philippines, they call this dance Catalana, a very colorful and gay festive dance. And the Chinese added their strange sounds filled with sweet nostalgia. Yes, music is all part of Hawaiian hospitality. A hospitality expressed by everyone, from the smallest child to the governor of the state, the Honorable William Quinn. These Hawaiian islands and the people who have lived here for many years have always had the good fortune to provide friendly hospitality to travelers from around the world. Our islands are open to all who wish to visit us. Because our islanders are of all races, we welcome people from all lands and offer to all who come our way a wealth of friendship, relaxation, understanding, and peace. Yes, there are so many things to see, so many things to do. Take a boat or fly a plane to all the islands out across the reef where the great whales play and breed their young. Out to Kauai in the footsteps of Captain Cook, to the lovely city of Hilo on the island of Hawaii that gives the entire group its name, to Maui with its fascinating glimpses of the past, fern forests, great canyons, volcanoes that bubble and boil. The smell of coffee and ginger, and beauty everywhere. For some, excitement. For others, relaxation. And for many, romance. And now back to the beach again. Ah, there are beaches to just laze on, and noisy ones with beautiful girls and suntan heroes, and quiet ones with nothing but you and yours and the moon hiding her eyes behind the whispering palms. And here's the beach at Waikiki, a grandstand now for the exciting canoe races at the Outrigger Canoe Club. As they move down the course here, it looks like Outrigger away on the outside has the advantage at the moment. They're moving down awfully fast. And Outrigger is leading Waikiki Surf by about a boat length as they approach the finish line. He's moving down very 
There is a village in Hawaii where you can step back in time, the village of Ulumao, where life is just as it was when the world was young. The village is only a spear throw from shining white hotels and apartment houses that bite into the blue sky. But here, they carve canoes just as their forefathers did and pound the barks of trees to make the cloth known as tapa. And of course, no Hawaiian holiday would be complete without tasting that much maligned staple, poi. Poi, the bread of the island made from the taro root. Here is poi being pounded in the village of Ulumao. Poi, incidentally, is a purplish paste that you eat with your fingers. And a long succession of haolis, that's the name they give to visitors, have said it tastes like library paste or even worse. You know, my friends, you are here in Hawaii. You came from California to here. It cost you $266.12 on airline. <laughs> right? Yeah. On a tourist flight. All right, come on, use all Hawaii now. This is in Hawaii in here. Yes. Outside of Digit, your way. Any place outside, just like where you came from. Hawaii is right in this little fence we have. So don't be afraid to eat. Because what we have here is nothing to kill anybody. You'll hear the soft voices speaking the ancient language of old Hawaii. I ask the meaning of some of the words. What does Waikiki mean? Waikiki means a water that shoots to a person. That's what Waikiki means. Wai is water, and ki means to shoot a person with water. And I asked, what does Ulumao mean? Ulumao means ever growing in Hawaiian, and we are hoping that this village will be forever growing in knowledge and materials so we may recreate once again the skills of old Hawaii. We step out of the past and into the shining future along highways bright with streams of traffic. Soon we come to marine land and a glimpse of the finny natives of the islands, friendly fish and tame turtles. And we witness an exciting drama as a man dives into a tank filled with unpredictable sharks and risks his life to entertain us. Hawaii has three main industries, sugar, pineapples, and making people happy. I visited one of the sugarcane plantations and found they had just set fire to acres and acres of ripe sugarcane that stood 12 to 15 feet high. Of course, I wanted to know why it was being burned. We have a rather novel method of harvesting the cane here in the islands. Uh, we set the fields of fire, uh, and burning them off serves two purposes. First of all, it burns off all the old, loose, uh, dead and dry leaves and makes the cane stock much less bulky uh, and consequently uh, easier to handle. But doesn't that ruin the sugar? No, no. You see, the heat from the fire seals in the sugar juices and uh, we're able to return, uh, retain much more of it in that manner. The pineapple is symbolic of Hawaii, and here we are at one of the great pineapple plants that seal the golden harvest in shining containers. Sunshine in a can. This is the largest fruit factory uh, in the world which produces canned pineapple, and this department here is called the Genaco department. Or why not take Adventure, the ship that takes you bounding across the waves and sails you over a page of history. A dark moment that sent a cloud across the lovely isles. A moment that began on December the 7th, 1941. Pearl Harbor. The Arizona was the heaviest hit of all of our ships that day. The Arizona went to the bottom in only eight minutes time. And here is Captain Russia, Tucker Gratz, Chairman, day. Pacific War Memorial, Memorial Commission. Sir, would you tell us more about the Arizona? Yes. 
Here in the blue waters of Pearl Harbor, the Arizona now lies as a memorial by virtue of the Congress of the United States of America, the Pacific War Memorial. There is a plaque here that reads, dedicated to the eternal memory of our gallant shipmates in USS Arizona, who gave their lives in action December 7, 1941. From today on, USS Arizona will again fly our country's flag just as proudly as she did on that morning. I am sure the Arizona's crew will know and appreciate what we are doing. May God make his face shine upon them and grant them peace. The story of Hawaii is filled with surf-pounding drama, sun-drenched adventure, and love stories more numerous than the palms that fringe her shores. And her stories and legends are part of the music of Hawaii. And now I'd like you to meet someone who is an expert on legends, a singer of songs, a dancer, a musician, and the very essence of Hawaiian hospitality, Joe Iolami. And here he is playing the Pu Ili, a percussion wind instrument used in the hulas of old Hawaii as well as in the modern hulas of today. This is a, a chant of inspiration to the goddess of the hula laka, asking for gracefulness and personality and perseverance of the people in her dances. No wana laka ita uluve ive. And now the ipu or the gourd. And this instrument was used to the accompaniment of the dancer with the kumu hula or the teacher of the hula dance. And this was done to the accompaniment of the hula ala'a papa or better known today as the hula olapa, a dance using moderate action. The sound of the ukulele. Uku meaning a flea, lele meaning to jump. When the Spaniards came to Hawaii, they brought with them a guitar. And after after the Hawaiians sitting around and watching them, they were fascinated by their fingers jumping up and, up and about the, the strings that they called it the uku lele, the jumping flea. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. Yes, words too are part of the music of Hawaii. No, which means don't get mad. Wahini, which means girl. Pilut is to get drunk. <laughs> now, here, brother, watch out, eh? When you go downtown, watch out, you know, get in trouble, eh? Plenty, plenty Wahini's in town now. The COVID is on vacation, yeah? So take it easy. <laughs> you bet I will. Another sound of Hawaii is the sound of fishing for the big ones out beyond the reef. And surfing. Oh, you may not be able to do it like the locals do, but perhaps you might capture, if only for one magic moment, that thrilling instant when a surfboard makes you part human, part bird, part fish, as you rush towards the shore, hanging high above the raging surf. And there are night spots, restaurants catering to every taste. And what do you wear? Well... Ladies, today's fashion show is sponsored by the Hawaiian Fashion Guild. Our models, Beverly, Dee Dee, Janie, and Little Carrie, will show you that in Hawaii, we not only have island casuals, but also more sophisticated creations 
for our enchanted evenings. Hawaii offers exciting shopping, and you will find there are many... Shopping, of course. Beautiful palm-fringed streets and wide sidewalks lined with dazzling shops, and stalls piled high with beautiful flowers, where orchids are yours for only a few pennies. Yes, Hawaii has all this and more to please the heart and mind. And if you're here in Lantern Bright July, you'll catch the Japanese Obon Festival and hear the sounds of Japan. This dance is known as the Iwakuni dance. Now, this is one of the many dances that have come from Japan. And uh, these dances are all uh, in celebration of this season known as Obon. Obon is a period uh, when Buddhists everywhere uh, gather together and uh, honor the departed loved ones. It's also a time of thanksgiving for the blessings that uh, we are always receiving. Music, music everywhere. Songs and drums and always the guitar. And here's a Samoan dance full of exciting rhythms and island humor. Freedoms have never been more respected anywhere than here in the state of Hawaii. Churches of all denominations share reverence with temples and shrines. And a sound of Hawaii that is unforgettable is the sound of the choir led by the Minister of Music, Daniel Akaka, at the beautiful church of Kauai Hau in Honolulu. A church as alive today as when it began in a tiny grass shack 140 years ago on April the 24th, 1820. And here is the service in Hawaiian. And now it's nearly time to go. So many things to do, so many things to see. Tours of the islands, inter-island trips, photographs to take, last minute shopping, and perhaps a final look around and a last chance to catch the sounds of Hawaii. And maybe you'd like to take a hula lesson. Here's a beautiful teacher giving you the real meaning of the hula. Aloha, my name is Marilyn Ululani Hewitt. I'm a hula dancer and also a hula instructor. Now I find that instructing the hula, once you have learned the basic steps and movements, it'll be easy. The hands tell the story in the hula, and the hips and the footwork add to it. <laughs> I must remember that. Or you may want a recipe for some Hawaiian food. Here's an island favorite. This is Mylia Singh, and I have for you a recipe which is one of the most popular of these islands uh, called Lomi Lomi Salmon. Soak one pound salted salmon in water for three hours. Remove skin and bones and shred finely with fingers. Then chop five large ripe peeled tomatoes in two small pieces. Then combine ingredients with one round medium onion finely chopped and one bunch green onions thinly sliced. Chill mixture just before serving and add several cubes of crushed ice. And finally, you must go to a luau, that typically Hawaiian party. Here's your host, Don the Beachcomber, who tells us what a luau really is. A luau in Hawaii today is a thing of hospitality. Uh, it uh, offers to the overseas traveler an opportunity to come and join other overseas travelers and local people alike in a great huge party. And uh, the ceremonies that uh, are part of the overall picture of a luau begin early in the evening with a prayer or a chant at the, when the pig is removed from the emu. 
Then afterwards we, uh, with our stalks of bamboo full of rum punch, and, uh, we are seated on the floor on cushions. There we eat pig and poi and salmon and, uh, and uh, luau chicken and various other things with our fingers and actually go native. It's mandatory that the, this my luau that you wear uh, the proper clothes. The proper clothes being uh, a uh, two yards of cloth wrapped around or uh, a fancy holoku or a, a pair of trousers and an aloha shirt. Uh, the music uh, of the islands, both Tahitian, Samoan and Hawaiian is played in the background. We have a delightful show featuring the best artists of Tahiti, Samoa, and Hawaii. You'll hear the prayer, the chants, the old ceremonial chants of the monarchy days uh, with the Unai Luahini. And altogether, a luau is an experience that everyone should have. And so, there beneath Hawaiian skies where stars are just a heartbeat away, the torches flicker with orange flames and the dancers leap to savage tempos. Or sway under the moon to the beautiful songs of the islands. And far into the night, the Hawaiian hospitality and entertainment goes on. But for most of us, the islands are only ours for a while, and so we must go back. But there is a legend. Cast your lay of flowers upon the waters, and as they drift towards the shore, it is written that you will come back. You will come back to this paradise on earth, the magic islands of Hawaii. 